As a financial planner, I can't eliminate all of your investment fees, but I can help you make them more tax deductible. Find out how on this episode of Retirement Smarts. We all like saving money, and we all hate paying taxes. Did you know that you can save money on your taxes by deducting the fees you pay on your investments? Many people are not aware that the fees that you pay in your investment accounts can be 100% deducted on your tax return. You see, one of the insidious little things that goes on in the financial services arena is that fees are deducted from each account on a pro rata basis that you might have. So you might have a taxable account, you might have a Roth, you might even have an IRA. And those accounts have fees attached to them. Now, under IRS rules, only fees that come out of taxable accounts are considered tax deductible on your tax return. However, what you can do is you can have all of your fees from all of your accounts come out of your taxable account. Just a simple form you fill out with your broker, and in fact, your broker probably should have let you know this is possible, because then it makes all of the fees that they're charging you tax deductible. However, unfortunately, as you can imagine, the brokers don't like to do this on many instances because then you're aware of a lot of fees that actually you probably weren't aware of before. But one of the great things is, is you can have all of your fees come out of your taxable account and then all the fees that you pay are 100% tax deductible on your itemized form. Let me give you an example. We have a client, she came in to see us a year or so ago and she's a widow. She'd inherited a lot of insurance after her husband's passing, and she'd been using a local broker who had been charging her fees. And again, there's nothing wrong with fees. Fees have to be paid and people have to make a living. I get that. But what's happening is this client had money in a taxable account, rather large IRA that was from her husband's 401k before he passed, and also from a Roth account. When we did this client's taxes, we figured out from the prior year that the fees were about $10,000 that were on the prior year's tax return. However, when we looked at her investment statements, we realized that uh, the fees were really low compared to the assets. It was really unusual given the fact that this uh, person was using a full service brokerage firm. So we had the client bring in all their statements and we went through everything with a fine tooth comb and we realized the fees were actually over $30,000. So now we had the fees from that time forward, all come out of the taxable account. So now instead of having a $10,000 tax deduction, the client now has a $30,000 a year tax deduction, even if she decides to stay with that broker. So the key is you look at everything in your financial affairs, make sure that the fees that you're paying are coming out of your taxable accounts. That's the key. And if you need help figuring that out, give us a call. We'd love to help you figure out if your fees are being fully deducted the proper way. If you like that video and would like to learn the most common mistakes people make in, at, or near retirement, I just created a free retirement strategies course. Click on the link below and I'll send it to you immediately.